This is Kelly Thompson, Outreach Director with the St. John's Riverkeeper. I have the pleasure of introducing our dear friend and longtime partner, and this year's featured artist for our Oyster Roast of 2020, Will Dickey. Will has been a Jacksonville resident since he became a staff photographer for the Florida Times Union back in the 80s. He's won regional and national awards for his newspaper work, but he has a special respect for nature and for the beauty of Northeast Florida's landscape, especially the Timaquan Preserve and the St. John's River. When I was a kid, my, my dad got a Polaroid camera and I immediately took it over and, and I became the, the family photographer. So uh, when I was a senior in high school, I got a 35 millimeter camera, a you know, big, big uh, improvement there. So that's what got me into photography. Well, for the past 40 years or so, I've been a photojournalist. That's been my prime job. So when I can get out in the woods and uh, get out in the woods with my camera, that's just going back to my roots there. It's just so different from what I do every day for the Times Union. And uh, so pleasing and so fulfilling. Better. Absolutely nothing better than to get out on the water, especially, or, or hike, you know, hike in, in some of our beautiful areas around here. We're, we're so fortunate to live in Jacksonville where we have so much nature around us that we can enjoy and it's, most of it is public uh, land. Well, I, I moved to Jacksonville 37 years ago, and it didn't take me long to discover the St. John's River, because I grew up bass fishing in little lakes and ponds, and uh, uh, when I saved up enough money, the first thing I, I thought about was, I really need a boat. So, uh, so I got a boat, started exploring the St. John's River uh, and, and exploring the, the fishing opportunities. And even on days when I would go out and not, not catch a fish, I still, it was still a good day. Any day on the water is a good day. Going out and shooting the pictures is just part of the, part of the job for me. For, for me, I do nature photography uh, as a profession as well. That's kind of my second job yeah. is, is the nature photography. So uh, I'm, I'm always looking for new images to put on my website so, so people can look at them and, and you know maybe get one to put on their wall or something. Uh, so uh, I, I do have quite a bit of work uh, around the Northeast Florida area and really all over the world now with the World Wide Web and a website, people are, can find you. You know, the, the work that I, that I do, uh, everything that is worthy, uh, that I think is worthy is on my website. And I tell people all the time, go to my website. If you like a picture that you see, look at where I shot it and then go there. Go there for yourself, check it out. Go look at, at the St. John's River or the Timacon Preserve. I mean, we are so blessed to have all this public land around us. And uh, I, I just, I feel like after 35 years of, of doing the nature photography, that I just haven't spent enough time out there. I need to spend more. There is, there is, and I, and I have only been there maybe three times. Uh, but that's top of my list when I uh, g go back out on the river again, is uh, the Conlochatchee River. It is so primitive and so primeval looking the, with the palm trees. It's just the most beautiful place and so different from any other place along the St. John's River. St. John's River has got some wonderful transitions from, from the headwaters, which is just kind of floodplains where all this water gathers up and, and, and you really have to hunt to find the, the river channel, where the river begins. And it's kind of a matter of conjecture where, where that is. 
Then you get to the middle part of the river where, where things get kind of tropical and you have a lot of palm trees, uh, beautiful areas, a lot of bugs. Uh, then you get up in this neck of the river and it's uh, completely different from the other two types of river. It's more uh, areas like we're in now with, with the uh, cypress trees and dense growth. Uh, so it's just, just, just a beautiful river. Anywhere you go on this river is just fantastic. Well, I, I'm not in a position to donate a lot of money to the river keepers, so I donate my images and my time uh, to, to do things for the river keeper and uh, to try to promote the river and to show people what a beautiful, beautiful river it really is uh, and, and how we need to protect it and keep it looking the way it looks and for me it's very selfish because I want this river to stay beautiful so I can take pictures of it and so we can all take pictures of it and enjoy it and I, nobody's going to want to go out and spend time on a dirty stinky river. Well the main thing about nature photography is just being there. You can go out at the right time and the right conditions with your cell phone camera and come back with some absolutely gorgeous pictures that you can have prints made and put on your wall. It doesn't take expensive camera gear. It doesn't take a lot of a lot of know-how. You know, it's just the the biggest part of it to me is being there. Being there when the sun comes up over the river and the clouds come in and the sun is putting God rays up behind the clouds and, and you're just looking at it. And sometimes you forget to take a picture because you're, it's so beautiful. And uh, you know, I've had a few of those moments and I remember every single one of them. And I always say the Universal Photographer's Prayer when I'm shooting the picture, please Lord, don't let me screw this up. <laughs>